videos in high definition. This is First at Four. Broken bones can happen in an instant. It is a health concern for every woman. Up next, why we all need to be aware of the dangers and how we can keep our bones strong. Doctors say osteoporosis affects 10 million Americans and roughly 8 million of them are older women. Another 34 million have low bone mass, which puts them at risk for the disease. And with Secretary of State Hillary Clinton's fall last week, it poses the question of when women should get a bone density check. NBC4's Amy Basista talks with a local doctor who can answer that question. Secretary of State Hillary Clinton was on her way to a meeting when she fell. She suffered a fracture and had to have surgery to repair her broken elbow. Now, Clinton, who is 61, has not said whether or not she has osteoporosis. But for many women, this kind of accident can serve as a wake-up call. Most patients do not know they have it until something happens, such as a fracture of the spine or of the hip. That's why it's called the silent disease. The same type of spill happened to 71-year-old Ann Fox, but she fell on her hip. I got off the bed because I'd been lying down because I have a back problem. And it was in a narrow space and I just went down. And needed hip replacement surgery. That's the first time I've ever broken anything. All the years of falling off horses and swimming, you know, I had to do it two days after Christmas. She had her first bone scan today and tells me it was something she was putting off. Dr. McGraw says women between the ages of 45 and 50 should consider getting a bone scan. It costs $150. Usually when women hit menopause, um, the year after menopause, they lose the majority of their bone density, but then it slows down after menopause. Younger women can prevent the disease by building up muscle mass through strength training and take your vitamins. You don't want to go through this. You really, really don't. Amy Basista, NBC4.